before you begin, it's important to have a clear understanding of what your logo is going to represent. The client will usually send over a document that will have all the necessary details, but if you feel it's incomplete, then don't hesitate to ask the client the questions you need to. Once you have a clear understanding of the brief, start looking for references and create a mood board of how your design is going to feel. The most popular places to look for inspiration are Pinterest, Behance and Rebel. If you're struggling with what to search for, you can try mind mapping, which is a technique where you break down your logo brief and generate new ideas in different directions. Let's say I'm designing a logo for a cafe called Sleepy Bunny Coffee House and I don't exactly know where to start. So I'm just gonna write down the words that come to my mind when I think of the company name or even pick out words from the logo brief and expand around it. Once you're satisfied with the keywords, it's time to move on to sketching. This is where you visualize your ideas and start to bring them to life. You don't necessarily have to be great in drawing for this, you just need to be able to sketch down your thoughts on paper. I just hope that we're still okay. You always There are a couple of options when it comes to sketching. You can take the initials and play around that or make something like a mascot, which I think will fit best in this case. Or you could even just go to the typography route and play around with that. Step 3. Pick a color palette. An easy way to do this is head over to colorhunt.co and you can choose whichever palette suits your design. Otherwise, if you want to learn more about colors and go deep into this topic, I suggest you check out the Future Academy. They have great tutorials on this. I'll link a few of them in the description. Once you have a color palette and your sketch ready, it's time to vectorize it. I'm using Adobe Illustrator, which is the most common in the industry for vector design. But there are other few options also which you can use. Take a photo of the sketch and drag it into the software to import it. I have decreased the opacity to 30% so I can trace over it. Select the image and you can change your opacity from above here. Using the ellipse tool on my left while holding shift, I'm going to create a circle. Then duplicate it by pressing ctrl c and ctrl v and drag the edges while holding alt to make an ellipse. Duplicate it again and scale it down to make the inner ellipse. Create a circle again to make the rabbit's head. For the ears, I'm going to use the pen tool. Press p for the pen tool and start jotting down anchor points by left clicking on your mouse. Make sure to keep the points to a minimum and only place points where there is a curve starting. Then press Shift 3 to bring up the anchor point tool and click and drag to adjust the curves to your liking. Do the same for the second year. Using the pen tool again, I'm making this curve for reference. Then using the direct selection tool, select the bottom anchor point and press delete. Do the same for the outer circle. Switch back to the selection tool and holding Shift, select both the inner ellipse and the remaining arc. Now I need to join these two to make a single shape. For that, I'm going to use a shape builder tool and drag over both the shapes to join them. After this, I use the pen tool again to make the nose and the eyes. Then fill in the color using the fill and stroke on the left. That's pretty much it for the basic structure of the logo. Now I'm just going to play around with the shapes a bit more, adjust it to my liking, add some text around it and fill in the colors. So I tried to make the rabbit look like it's forming out of the foam of the coffee and also made a second simple variation of it. Do let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make more of these tutorial type of videos from time to time. Hope you like the final design.